Hello, it's Roy for creativecow.net and I'm going to be showing you how to create a James Bond effect using footage of myself, some multiply and some thresholds. Go ahead and insert your footage. Here is my footage. I'm going to delete this audio track because I don't need it. I am going to cut this right where the action starts, which is here and where it ends, which will be somewhere near here. So here is my footage. It's me walking in, draw the gun, aim at the camera, shoot, and then the clip ends. That's okay. Now we are going to add a black and white, so go to your video effects, choose black and white, and drag the 100% black and white to your video track. Now as you can see, your whole video is now black and white. The next thing you want to do is you go to your threshold and insert the 25% and drag the tr threshold around 17. So here's the footage now and as you can see there's quite a big mess here so I'm going to mess that out so I'm going to event pan crop I'm hitting the mask checkbox I'm gonna draw a mask around the areas I do want which is here so as you can see there's a black area and a white area the black area will be filled up with a white solid so you go to your media generators solid color white place it under your clip and your whole screen is now white. Go to your explorer and choose the 007 logo. Place it above your track, size it up and choose multiply or mask. Now as you can see only the white areas will be filled up with the video under it. So, I'm going to go to track motion and I'm going to size this up a little bit and make a slide. Copy your Y, Ctrl C, and drag this somewhere near here. Paste it. Drag the timeline just before the shot you can see the shot is fired here I think somewhere near here I am going to drag this till the point where it is where it is now I'm gonna paste the Y again and here is your slide at this point there is a zoom out so I'm going to create a new keyframe and I'm going to zoom out the logo to here so I'll first have the slide then zoom out and then the shot So at this point I am going to add my soundtrack under it. So go to your explorer again and choose your soundtrack. Place it under it and reduce the volume. It's pretty loud so So here is the footage. I am not satisfied with the position of the of the of the logo at the end so I'm going to drag this to somewhere near maybe something bigger so here okay that's alright right. 
And I wanted to have a shot when it's fired. So here it fires. Go to the exact position on a timeline where it's fired. It's here. Choose high definition suppressed gun shot and place it here. Reduce volume. That's alright. Size your your soundtrack. Oh, wait, make a little bit of fade out at the end, fade in on the beginnings. You only need to fade out the logo, as you can see. Maybe a blood kind of effect at the end. So go to your media generators and choose red and place it under your logo at the end after the shot has been which is here go to the generated generated media media and make it darker Make a little fade in on the beginning. And here we have our James Bond effect. I hope you liked the tutorial and I see you around on creativecow.net.